Joe Tomorrow from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome back to a special edition of the Dual Super Pump Rebuild Series. That's right. In this series, you've probably seen me rebuild other super pumps. Uh, in this series, we're rebuilding some Hayward 2600 Series Super Pumps, but we're going to rebuild two at the same time because a lot of people are like, oh, you make it look too easy, or sometimes they're like, what happens if my pump looks like this or that? So here's a guy that sent us in two different ones. They look like they're in pretty bad shape. You can see here that... uh. Uh, the discoloring of all the metal, what that usually means is the pump ran extremely hot. So we're hoping that these pumps are not blown out. Uh, you can see also this one here too. There's a lot of discoloring of the metal on this as, as well. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to build these Hayward tube pumps at the same exact time. Uh, what we're, the first step is we're going to start with uh, removing the rear covers. Okay, so to, in order to do that, uh, you just use a standard uh, you know, uh, nut driver, looks like we're doing, and you want to turn them and remove the bolts on the back. Now, we're also going to give you a close-up look I've had to remove these uh, back covers in one second because obviously we have two different pumps. So let's just start with the first pump. Like I said, we'll loosen up the two screws on the back. And then once we loosen up the two screws, we're going to pop off the back cover. That's the first step uh, to repairing the Hayward Super Pump uh, besides separating it, obviously, from the pump strainer housing. All right. Now, remember, please hit the subscribe button below. Uh, that way you get all the latest and greatest videos delivered to your inbox once a week or every time we publish. All right. There we go. Let me just loosen this back screw up a little bit more. I uh, remember all parts are available being used in this video uh, at wetheadpumprepair.com. We have... Uh, bearing and seal kits and bearing kits and all kinds of good stuff over there. So head on over to wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to take a hammer. I'm just going to uh, pop this back cover a little bit. Right, just like that. And uh, you'll see the back cover will start to work its way off. Sometimes they get stuck a little bit, so I'm just going to stand this pump up here. And there you go. Comes off a lot easier just like that, right? Of fighting on the <laughs> fighting on the table. All right, so there you go. The back cover is removed from that Hayward super pump, just like that. That is step one. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the uh, the back cover off the second one, and then when we come back, we're gonna start uh, talking about removing the impeller. All right, remember all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. This is the dual super pump rebuild series where we do everything twice. Okay, see you later. Peace.